Go ahead and get comfy in your chair or your seat or whatever it is. And as always, I invite you to take that last little bit of nervous energy. Shake that shit out. Move your fingers, your shoulders, your neck, your toes. Any anxiety or stress that you feel like you've been carrying around for the day, either past or present, let it go. We don't need it, frankly, ever, but we certainly don't need it right now. And then when you're ready, when you feel like you've moved your body through those little twitches that it is desiring, start to find some stillness. And if anything, I would almost encourage you to rock back and forth a little bit and kind of work your butt down into the chair until you find a place that feels really, really comfortable. And I want you to focus on that feeling. And if you need to, if you feel called to, make little changes left, right, up, down, forward, back, anything that would feel just a little bit more comfortable and the priority today is to feel like the chair, the seat is holding you. That you can feel its stability. That you can feel the calm and the energy that is around you. That you can land in this space. To start today, before we get to breathing, I want you to bring awareness to all the systems that we have running in the background on a consistent basis. The to-do list, the chores, the oh shit, I need to send that person an emails. All the little things that we carry. And for just a couple of minutes, I want you to let them go. Not worried about whether or not they'll come back, not worried about when they're going to happen, not even worried about what they are. Just slowly letting them release. And in that space, in that vacuum where that to-do list, where that concern, where that worry was, I want you to just bring presence and awareness and allow that to fill in the gaps in your brain, in your body, in your emotion. Just awareness. Just presence. And I want you to feel like you are slowly detaching and pulling away from those background systems, from that mental chatter. And once you do that, I want you to scan your body up and down and just ask it, ask yourself, where am I carrying stress today? Where am I hiding little pockets of shame or guilt or things that I know I should address but just don't want to? And again, you don't have to address them. You don't have to change them. You don't have to fix them. Just let go. Continuing to separate, continue to see yourself fall away from these stresses, from these pressures, from these concerns. Your body, your mind, your soul, independent, still, as you continue to pull away now we'll bring your attention to your breathing so go ahead and breathe in through the nose out through the mouth and I want the rhythm of the breath to reflect the freedom and the openness and the expansion that you feel when the air comes into your body, I want you to feel like it's entering this huge expanse, this big empty space that is no longer burdened by your stress or your concern, just freely filling you up with oxygen and life and new energy and new perspective. And when you exhale, it is a sigh of relief. It is a sigh of contentment. 
is it is it is a sigh of joy again breathing into this big open expanse into this empty space that is no longer burdened breathing in breathing in breathing in and breathing out the satisfaction the gratitude the awareness that you are alive and that this time that you're taking for yourself is a gift a gift of which you are worthy a gift that you can have as many times as you choose a gift just for you and here's where it gets interesting what i want you to scan for is do you have a voice a devilish little presence that tells you that this state, this feeling, this separation from those stresses is temporary. That it's just an escape. That it's something you don't always have access to. Because ultimately, it's not true. This state you are in, connected to your breathing, bringing expansion and light and life into your body enjoying the gratitude and the healing of knowing how fucking beautiful your life is this is your life all the time this joy is available to you all the time the possibility of what may be is available to you all the time And our goal, our intention with these sessions is not to judge, not to feel bad, not to wish that we could be perfect and be here all the time. It is a simple invitation to realize how easy it is, how available it is to reconnect to who you really are and what is really true about your life. And not just the stories we use like glue to keep us where we are. So if your feet are not glued to the ground, if your back is not glued to the wall, if, you're not if your mind is not chasing these stories and this to-do list, where are you going? Where would you like to travel? Where would you like to see yourself? Maybe it's clear. Maybe you have an immediate answer. Or maybe there's just a quieter knowing somewhere within you, somewhere in your body, somewhere in your mind, that can see that there is a change. Something you might like to step into and invite into your life. There is no right or wrong. There is no good or bad. All you have to do is be curious about what you might be hearing in this moment where you might be directed and how wonderful it is that all of the answers you need all of the answers you will ever need are right inside you no searching no seeking no struggle no strain required they're yours and you can have them For the next minute as we come into this new song, I want you to just connect to that feeling or to that vision. And if you don't have one, that's okay. Stare into the black or the dark or whatever it is that you're seeing and just be curious. Just ask the question, if I am not burdened by this to-do list and these stresses, what do I see? What do I feel? What do I know? And connect to that inquiry. Connect to the open-hearted curiosity that doesn't require outcome or clarity. Just a little kid excited about what might be.
focused on where you might go or how you might change. Hmm. Now the final thing I'm going to ask of you, I want you to make a commitment to yourself for when you plan to return to this place. A place that you're connected to your breathing, a place where you are disconnected from the pulls and the pushes of the forces around you. Doesn't have to be for a long time, doesn't have to be in this meditation, but I want you to make a pact with yourself that you're gonna make a conscious effort to return into this space as a reminder as a promise that it is always available to you and that you can have it whenever you like. We'll close with three breaths together. So again, we're gonna breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth and on the exhale, I encourage you to lean into that sigh, into that exhale to take up a little bit more space. So everyone go ahead and breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. And let it go. <sighs> Good. Again, let's breathe in this time a little bit more deeply, more clearly more strength, with more power, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, and when you're ready, <sighs> good, and one final time, everyone go ahead and breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, and one final time, loud enough that your neighbors can hear you. Ah. Slowly allow movement to come back into your body, holding that awareness, that presence that we've cultivated together over the last couple of minutes. Moving your wrists, your ankles, your neck, your shoulders. And when you're ready, zero rush. Welcome to slowly start to blink your eyes open and come on back to the space.